are back. Look who's back. Yay! Brooke! Brooke. I know I get a lot of questions about why isn't Brooke in this one? Why isn't Brooke in this one? She picks and chooses. She's, she's also been traveling the country. She has. She's been gone for a little bit, but she's back. Mm -hmm. I love you. And we are here with Brooke to do a very special episode. On our travel, where you were doing something separate, we found a very cool penny candy store. And if you're not familiar with penny candy, is it's all the candy from when years ago, 30, 40, 50 years ago, that were common and popular. So we picked a bunch of stuff and we're gonna try it. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. All right, first up is satellite wafers. And what did you just say before we said this? What the hell was it? Right, what the hell is it? Garrett's satellite wafers have been in America since the 50s. So it's a nostalgic candy and has a great reputation, particularly in the Northeast, where people love these candies so much they'll do anything to get their hands on them. What does that mean? Does that even include, like, robbery? Maybe. <laughs> All right. It's really weird. It's like, makes like a very weird noise, but let's do this. All right. They're, they're styrofoam. They're styrofoam. That's exactly what it feels like. If you could come in and just take a look at this. It looks like a UFO. It looks like a UFO. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, a cha 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 cha. There's styrofoam. There's styrofoam, right? You ready? All right, here we go. Are you, are you supposed to eat that? Bag? Yes. I literally read the bag first. It doesn't taste like candy. What's inside? Oh no, it starts to change. It's like the the time release happens as it dissolves in your mouth. And then there's like these little, can you come in? There's these little pebble thingies in there. Oh, like little candy. Right, little candy surprises. This is disgusting. <laughs> I would never, I don't see how these are heavily in demand in the Northeast. I don't want to speak for you though, if you liked it. I hated that. You hated that, so much so she's drinking it down. All right, let's score it. Three. One. <laughs> All right, next up, they call these nickel nips. I thought they were bottles. Right, I thought they were wax bottles. That's what we always used to call them. I have not had one of these since I was probably your age. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> You've had them, though. I've had them. Like, you say that like, oh, daddy, I've had them. Like, like, what does that mean? Like the other day. I had them the other day. Where would you find them the other day? We got them... When we bought all those weird sodas at Lolly and Pops. Ah, all right. Well, I have not. Here we go. Nickel nips. All right. So you were just about to instruct me. Yeah, you what? have to bite the top off. Okay. Mm. Put that away. Mm -hmm. And then you just... That is so dumb. Mm. 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 What the hell? Oh. What a dumb candy. The memories are flooding back to me now. So. And then you like, what do you do with the wax? Chew it in a ball? No. No, you just like toss it. Uh, as Brooke has eaten another one. Um, these are delicious. Uh, granted, the wax is waste, but it's kind of fun to squish it into that and to kind of play with it in your mouth a little bit. <laughs> I feel like when I was little, I used to make braces out of it. Braces, what? Like... <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to be said I had braces. Mm -hmm. Come on, Brooke, put some braces on. Mm. These are good. Um, again, the juice in there, if they just sold it as the juice, would be good, but it wouldn't be half as fun. I think that's the fun of it, right? All right, rank them. It's also fun trying to get the juice out. Right, because you're trying to get all the last morsels of the juice out. Yeah, all right, so what were you? What are you uh, like? Nine. No, wow, wow, you really gave that a high score. A six. Wait, so Brooke, if you go in the candy store and there's like chocolate bars and all your fun candy and wax bottles, you're going to choose the wax bottle? They always do. You're not yes. surprised. She always has. At the country store, we always Gross. have wax bottles. All right, next up, the producer picked this one especially. It's squishy. It's Owyhee. Idaho Spud. 
And a little background on this, when the producer was picking up the candies here, she asked the owner of the store about this one, because he was telling us things about some of these. And he didn't know what the hell this was either. The owner of the store. So I have no idea what it to expect. It was the coolest store, though. Feel it. it is a little squishy. What is it? I have no idea. We're about is to find out. Is there a description out. on the thing? On the uh, side, on the brown, right the there. The candy bar that makes Idaho famous. That's it. God. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is, uh, what are you about to say? It looks like a snowball. It looks like a duty, is what you really wanted to say. It looks like a snowball in duty shape. If you haven't seen our snowball episode, you need to go back. Oh, but it's got a weird... Oh, oh, what's inside? It's got a weird kind Ew. of... Oh! it got a weird <laughs> nougat looking thing, I think. Or jelly? I'm not sure. Is it stretchy? It definitely appears to be stretchy. It's squishy. Uh, you ready? Just let's do this. No. <laughs> All right, there's no napkin. Just swallow it. Be a grown up. Uh, wow. What okay. is it? Can you describe it? It's disgusting. <laughs> but, yes. It's like if chocolate mousse Ugh. was made into jello. But then stuck in like a corner and forgotten about. For, That's like a brook story right there. For like 10 weeks. And then whatever happens to chocolate mousse when you stick it in a corner for 10 weeks and forget about it. That process inside of a snowball coconut chocolate thing. If this is what makes Idaho famous. Well, I think potatoes make Idaho right, famous. Right, exactly. Then they got problems. This is horrible. Score it. Zero. Zero. All right, next up. I've definitely had these before, Classic. but again, it's been years. Pop Rocks. Are these still popular with kids? No? No? I think they are. You I you would know. She's a kid. You're not. Wait, what, Brooke? I used to be scared of them. You used to be you, scared of them? Why were you scared like of them? Like fireworks? No, like Pop Rocks. Because they would, I thought they were like... Since they pop in your mouth, I thought they would do that. Oh, like they could hurt you? Oh. <laughs> 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 you weren't there for one. We did a Cadbury one where they had the Cadbury bar had Pop Rocks in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was really And weird. a whole bunch of other And a whole stuff. bunch of other stuff. But that was part of it. All right, you ready? Okay, let's do it. All right, here we go. So again, look. I know you haven't seen Breaking Bad, but it looks like Breaking Bad. You look like Breaking Bad. I look like Breaking Bad? The guy. Oh! <laughs> Heisenberg? I look like Heisenberg? I guess I've been called worse. You need a, a hat, a right. Heisenberg hat. Are you ready? Oh. You can hear him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but these are fun. I mean, what's not to love? Yeah, come close. These are fun. Don't. That's how Don't. Don't. Yeah, we hear. ASMR. Mm -hmm. They're fun. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Did we only get one package? I think we did only get one package. It says tasty explosion. I like it. Now, question for you. If you didn't have the pops and it just had the flavor, would you still like it? No, it's, it's the fun. Right. The strawberry is very artificial strawberry. <laughs> what are you, what's going on? What did I miss? Nothing. You can just hear them. <laughs> it's like popping out of her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should call someone and just put the phone up to that. <laughs> All right, let's rank them. I'll go for a seven. Seven? I agree with that score. Good solid seven. Fun candy. All right, next up. So you just said it. This is my favorite, or at least one of my favorites. It would be on my Mount Rushmore of <laughs> chocolate candy bars but it's not found very often anymore and you haven't had one in a long time and I've been trying to push these on her forever but you only like vanilla there's strawberry and chocolate there too. is strawberry and chocolate too but I'm a vanilla guy there's different flavors mm -hmm. yes there is and, and they're better in the freezer but see, we didn't freeze try it. frozen so you freeze them and then they snap in your mouth right yeah it's, it's really true. good for the dental yeah, uh... exactly are you ready okay all right, here we go. I don't want to rip this apart and be messy, so you go first. 
Okay, then me. Daddy's having a moment. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm so not a fan. Mm. I think the chocolate tastes like the worst quality chocolate you could ever eat. Shame on you. How dare you. She's still chewing. They call it chew for a reason. It's got a nice chew. Wait. I know. What? It's different. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Just okay. I think this is the simplicity of this. It's the it's the chocolate with whatever is in the middle. Um, vanilla flavored. Fabulous. Constant classic. It'll be good. It was good 30 years ago. It'll be good 30 years from now. Go ahead, score it. Five. Five! I say two. The chocolate tastes kind of expired. Yeah, it tastes like... Expired? <laughs> it tastes like old, bad uh, quality no. chocolate. Mm -hmm. This is a nine. Don't listen to them. Nine. Two. All right, next up. I love Fun Dip. You love Fun Dip? See, I haven't had this again since I was probably I your age. I haven't had this in so long, though. Really? But is it still popular? No. I don't know. I haven't had it. Yeah, so probably not. Um, I have cherry. You have raz apple. Raz Can we talk about the best part of Fun Dip, though, hands down? Well, I don't want to bias it. But, okay, but okay. What you're Afterwards. Gonna, right. Afterwards. All right, so here we go. So first, you rip these a very simple approach. You slip them open. You got the lick a stick in here, which is always a candy in and of itself. This, this is something. Is this is legit. Right? I wish all silverware were lick a sticks. Think about that. Think about a world. Bring this in for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> Think about a world where your fork was a lick a stick. Your spoon was a lick a stick. Your knife was a lick a stick. You would be eating your delicious meal and then finishing it with a delicious dessert all built into one. Make that happen, candy people. All right. You ready? I forget. You have to get it wet first, right? Yeah, you lick the stick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. It's so sanitary. And then you put it in there. You get the little dip on top of it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so bad. Just watching you eat it, I want some. <laughs> I like this so much more when I was younger. <laughs> it tastes like powder. Like, ew. Like powder with like artificial but let's flavor. Let's talk about the stick for a second. The stick is Hands down, the best part. The only reason you eat Fun Dip is for the stick. The stick is exceptional. Like, they like should a, literally just sell the stick. Just sell the stick. You hear like, me, Fun Dip? Do you agree with what we're saying, or do you like the, what you're dipping in? I like what I'm dipping in. Mm-hmm. Look at your tongue. It's all blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. These are? I have to take another dip. I want to know I why Fun Dip these. doesn't sell the stick. I used to get these in arcades. Now... I don't know about this, still do this, but I remember as a kid, you would get like three different pouches yes. of the three different, different flavors. flavors. Not just it one It was really flavor. long. It was long. It was like like from here to here. right there But they only gave you one stick, so you had to like use it sparingly. Right. The stick would maybe make it to the third pouch if you were lucky. <laughs> but hasn't said a word, you know, she's just been challenging. I'm enjoying this. Right. It is fun. Um, I don't like this powder, though. It's very artificial. I mean, look. That's, mm, it's also very bitter. Why don't you try hers? I'll try yours. Yeah, okay. Let me try your Raz Apple. Oh, mine's better. Mm -mm. No? <laughs> you like that one better? <laughs> All right, we got to rank them. Um, eight. You know... I was gonna go lower than that, but this is still fun, even though it's not like delicious. The funness of it makes it worth it. So I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna go eight. All right, next up is Necco wafers, the original candy wafer. Have you ever had a Necco wafer? You have? You're, you're an old soul of candy. Is this because of the country store? Ah, they have a penny yeah. candy store we've been to before. I never thought you would choose them. I honestly haven't had one of these in a long time because I think I remember mommy, the producer, buying some of these. And Nobody them. ever wanted the black Never ones growing won. up. Yeah, but I didn't want any of them. All right. I guess I think this is a, uh, 
a Massachusetts based it company, is. if I'm not mistaken. All right. Well, anyways, Neko, here we go. All right. So these have a very chalky tasting, or not tasting, chalky feeling. That's how you go out of the driveway. Right, exactly. Let's draw like a hopscotch cord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh! Why is it spicy? It's spicy. That she's right. Really? The you know, I remember spicy? not liking them, but I really don't what like them. What flavor this. did you take? Color? Pink. Whatever this is. Purple? Ew, it's spicy. Like, right. There's like a, a... What's when you have like red, big red? Remember that gum? Big red? No, it's like the cinnamon jelly beans. Better description. It tastes like very, like cinnamon, only cinnamon. Try a different one. Try yellow. I don't know if I want to based Just on this. Just do it. They're spicy candy hearts. That one's better. Try See, that. I told you that one's like banana. It's still not good, but it's better. It's definitely better than the one I, I remember had. loving them, but no one wanted the black ones. The black I think ones. you can have all the Necco wafers in the world now, Ms. Producer, because I think these are disgusting. I don't see the charm in them. I don't see the value in them. Do you I... like candy hearts on Valentine's no. Day? No, who likes candy hearts? That's basically those. I do. You like to eat them or you like to give them and get them? I like to eat them. But these are spicy. <laughs> they are spicy. They're like spicy. Like candy should not be spicy. It can <laughs> There's the quote of the episode. <laughs> candy should not be spicy. Unless you're a fireball. It's I would never. <gasps> You've never had a oh, fireball? Oh, oh we're going to have to go find a fireballs. Episode with that. All right, let's rate it. Three. Negative ten. What? Disgusting. Okay, go eat your Charleston chew. I will. All right, next up, cowtails. I don't think I've ever had a cowtails. Yes, you have. I'm not. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Well, you've had the equivalent in a wrapper. I might have had a knockoff cowtail. No, no, no. You know the caramels with the marshmallow center and the wrapper? Yes. That's basically a cowtail. Just different form, mm -hmm. different shape. All right. I used to get these at the arcade with my tickets. And this is what you would pick with your tickets? Yeah, and I would used to get like other weird stuff. Like, like that, fun dip? Like fun dip and yeah, right at. All right, here we go. So it looks like a big caramel log with cream in the middle. Mm -hmm. That say to say? Is that this how you remember it? Mm -hmm. Okay. But the cream like can pull apart in the caramel. You could separate the two if you wanted to? Yeah, see? Oh yeah, look. You could do cowtail surgery. Wow. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't it taste like those wrapper things? It does. Mmm. Mmm. The Brook Double Bite. I have to say, that's good. Anything caramel. Caramel. Mm. Caramel. <laughs> We're going to argue about this forever. <laughs> it's caramel. It's good. I will say the cream is a bit chalky. Is that fair to say? It's not very creamy. Remember not liking the cream. Just the caramel. <laughs> but the caramel is not caramel. What it's is no, it? No, it's like dusty caramel. <laughs> dusty caramel! <laughs> it's like old attic caramel. Dusty? Old attic caramel. It's dusty! <laughs> it tastes like it's been sitting in the attic. Like I said, dusty. Like in the corner of the attic. With all the cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brooke's story time. And someone went and found it and said we should make cow tails out of this. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, I like it. I don't love it. Want to score it? Five. Yeah. 5.2. All right. Last on our tasting test of penny candy was one of the cool things we found, the producer found, I should say, when we went to the store is that Kit Kats from Asia that were different flavors than the Kit Kats that we normally get here. I since had a conversation with someone that I work with who told me that she used to travel to Japan all the time and people would beg her to bring back the, their Kit Kats 
because they were so cool and fun and that she would get tons of requests and try to bring back hundreds of them. So if you can come in and just show all the different kinds here. We only know what one flavor is. We only know what this one is. Oh which no, is, two. Mint. Oh yeah, mint and banana caramel. The rest, we're just gonna have to go by and see what it is. So let's start with banana caramel. I hate banana flavored things. Do you like bananas? Mm. Somewhat. Okay, you ready? That's pretty good. Oh, I thought it would be yellow. It's mm -hmm. still it's chocolate. Not. It's still chocolate. That's solid. I don't really taste the banana. Oh, I do. You do? Score it. Four. Oh, you don't like it at all, huh? I'd say it's a seven. All right, next is this woman and man one. We don't know what it is. I'm going with that. strawberries and cream. You're going to say it's strawberries and. Oh, it's. Definitely not the same color. It's white chocolate. It's white chocolate. Here we go. Oh, broke that one in half, not intentionally. I want the full one. Here, have the full one. I'll take the half. Here we go. The inside there. Mm. That tastes like coffee. What? I like that. Mm hmm. It does. It does. It tastes like coffee. So, not strawberry. Mm mm. There's a coffee taste to it. Maybe adults in Japan mean coffee. They like they're drinking coffee together. And having a Kit Kat with their coffee. But this one's definitely better than the last one. What do you I think? Like seven. I'm gonna say it's a 7.5. Brooke was smart enough to know that we thought first this was penguin flavored Kit Kats. <laughs> <laughs> but she did find it says maple down here, not very prominent. So these are maple. Oh, and again in the, the white. Here we go. Mm. Ooh, mm. I really like this one. Mm. It's very sharp maple. You can definitely taste it the second you bite into that. That's my favorite one yet. Thoughts? It's good. It's really good. I still like the, co the coffee one. The coffee one better? All right, what do you rank this? 6.8. Oh, wow. I'm going to say this is an 8.2. Wow. All right, this next Kit Kat, it doesn't really say anything on it, except, if you can bring it in, good job. Good job. So it's congratulating us for finding and eating this. Good job. All right, here we go. Oh, it's definitely dark chocolate. Okay, your friend Liam would love these. He loves dark chocolate. They make dark chocolate Kit Kats here. There's like an odd... Just a little stale. It does taste a little stale. Mm, it's probably been sitting in the candy store. It's really sharp dark, dark chocolate. I am not a dark like chocolate guy. Like extra dark? Mm-hmm. I am not a dark chocolate guy. So this probably is not. For, if you love dark chocolate, they might love this. It could brook this. So what do you think? It's pretty good. I'm going to go for a seven. Yeah. See, I don't like dark chocolate. This is a four. Okay. Next up is... A woman at her computer. <laughs> having a you break. See, you don't understand. It's like, take She's a break. She's having a break with a Kit Kat. Oh, Kit. Yes. A break. And it's four o'clock. Look, it's four o'clock and she's like, it's time for a Kit Kat. I'm sitting to sit at my computer. I'm still going to work, but I'm going to have a Kit Kat. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is the first color that is not white or chocolate. It's like brown. It's white chocolate. In. That would be no, tan. No, it's brown. No, yeah, it's, no probably... it's white chocolate. That would be brown chocolate. <laughs> no, then it would be chocolate. <laughs> no, there's, there's... That would be tan. All right, tan. That's the word I'm using. All right. Is this like tea? Oh, it could be like green tea. Oh, that would be green. I've mm -hmm. had the green tea ones. Oh, you have? I like it, but it's I can't... Like biscuits. You think it's just like a, a, a coffee biscuit flavor? Okay. I like it though. It's definitely an interesting flavor for a Kit Kat. What do you think? I like it. Score it. Six. Six point five. All right. Last mint. Open this side. All right, here we go. It's in the dark chocolate format, which is already points against it in my mind, but here we go. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> This is the best one. Is it like a Thin Mint? 
it's um, the mint is overwhelming in a good way. Like you, the second you bite it, you feel the coolness of the mint coming over you. Mm-hmm. I love this one. All right, what do you think? Eight. This is a nine. Wow. All right, that was a delicious. Oh, Brooks back to eating fun, fun dip. Up- <laughs> Um, it was delicious. It was fun. It was bringing back memories. All of that stuff. It was great. Good to have you back in the SIU. You've been missed, right? There's so much more of you to come. There is so much more to come. Um, as always, spread the gospel of snack, subscribe, share the channel, join in our snack investigations. We always love your recommendations. Keep sending them. We'll see you soon.